trying to do is teach young kids through virtual reality the basics of what a fish farm is. Because that's just sort of a vague concept that young kids would struggle with. You know, it's fish in a farm, you think pigs and cows and stuff, but um, just to kind of immerse them and show them this is what it looks like in first person to be inside the fish farm with the fish. Basically how this works is there's an accelerometer in this. So if you look, everything in the screen on the front stays relative to where the head is. Little lenses inside that focus your eyes onto the screen back here. And then this is just showing like, it shows up in this random location. So this is saying like, a uh, new vector three, which is just a new vector, random location. So this was a, a final project for my New Media 306 class with Mike Scott. And he's had to deal with the Discovery Museum where we create a proposal and we propose what an exhibit would look like. A salmon pen is really not all that interesting. It just looks like a giant floating circle on the water surface and everything that's interesting it happens underwater. And there really isn't any good way for us to show that, but the headset allows kids to literally dive underwater into the pen, see the enclosure and interact with the salmon that are swimming around in there. So it was a wonderful experience. I think it was a really, really successful project that he developed. And hopefully this is the beginning of how we can utilize this kind of technology in a children's museum. So this is the salmon. Um, I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit. The environment itself, I can just like place, place grass and I made this cage that's here. Um, and I made water that reflects from the from the top. I've definitely been able to apply everything that I've learned. I've sort of tried to focus on user experience design in my major. Oh, I just caught a fish. <laughs> new media is really just like trying to figure out, there's this new thing that we all have access to and people are making. What do we do with it? Like, how do we apply this to our world and how do we use it? It's being applied for like therapy and like military training and like a lot of things that people didn't expect it to be used for. It's not really content rich. You're not going to learn a lot of statistics about Maine. You're not going to learn a lot of um, the details about how aquaculture works because that's would go over most of kids' heads. Just teaching kids that you can grow fish on a farm is a pretty big concept just to get them to comprehend. It's just been an awesome experience for me to be able to take what I've learned and apply it and have something sort of left behind.